Since 5 o'clock, the NTSB is giving a warning to pilots because of a deadly plane crash on I-285. Channel 2 Action News obtained a new report. It shows that debris in the fuel system most likely caused the crash last year. The pilot and three family members died. Channel 2's investigative reporter Aaron Diamond is live in DeKalb County. Aaron. Yeah, just minutes into the flight, the uh, pilot of that plane told controllers here inside DeKalb Peachtree Airport's tower the plane was having problems climbing. Now, this report not only confirms why, but that the pilot had the same problem just days before the crash. It was a tough event for any pilot at any experience level. Um, to have to deal with. That was local pilot Jeremy Taylor's first thought after we showed him the NTSB's final report on this May 2015 plane crash onto I-285, killing the pilot and three family members. I think this guy had everything stacked against him. NTSB investigators found debris in the plane's fuel manifold prevented the engine from obtaining full power, most likely why the plane couldn't climb and crash just minutes after takeoff. The impact killed pilot Greg Bird, his sons Philip and Christopher, and Christopher's fiance Jackie Kulzer. When you take off off and you have any kind of issue, you're low, you're slow, you have very little altitude to trade for airspeed. So when you have an issue in that phase, it's um, more likely to end up in a fatality than any other phase of flight. The NTSB found the plane was likely 24 pounds above the recommended maximum gross weight, but for the NTSB's lead investigator... That doesn't mean as soon as you hit that maximum gross weight, you know, that the plane is just uncontrollable or what have you. According to the report, several days before the crash, Greg Bird told his mechanic and flight instructor that the plane had not been climbing well. The pilot had completed an engine run-up in subsequent test flight and found no anomalies with the plane. And while the NTSB found no evidence of pilot error, the takeaway for all pilots. Just be diligent in your checks, you know, maybe take an extra five minutes or what have you if you see something wrong and, you know, just be diligent in your check. And the NTSB said it could not determine what kind of debris got into the fuel system or where it came from, uh, that, and that an examination of the engine itself found no mechanical problems. We're live in DeKalb County, Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News. More details on the crash of victims. Greg Bird and his son Philip were traveling to a graduation at the University of Mississippi. Another son, Christopher, and his fiance, Jackie Kulzer, were also on board. They were planning to get married later that year.